everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brie and I have a service dog named Dallas who is the star of this channel. So as you can see, it is my first video in my dorm room. Um, I do plan on doing a dorm tour video here pretty soon and a gear haul video also. I have some new gear that I ordered and I'm going to do my gear haul video once I get that stuff in. So as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about the saying, service dogs are not perfect. Um, so yeah, let's talk about this saying. So of course we all know that service dogs aren't perfect and they shouldn't be expected to act perfect all the time. They are dogs. Every service dog, every dog has their own strengths and weaknesses and their own personality. Every dog learns things at a different pace, just like people, and that's okay. But to what extent does this saying, service dogs are not perfect, turn into an excuse for a dog's ill behavior? When I hear the saying, service dogs are not perfect, I think of a service dog that sniffs something on the ground or maybe eats something on the ground they're not supposed to. Um, maybe the dog gets a little too excited when somebody tries to pet it and the person's not supposed to pet it, but the dog gets too excited. Maybe the dog gets a little distracted by another dog that it sees, or maybe the dog misses an alert. Maybe the dog barks one time because a noise startled it. Heck, maybe even a dog had an accident in a store. It happens. Dogs can't tell their owners when they have to go to the bathroom, and sometimes they just, you gotta go. Um, they can't hold it any longer. So that's mostly on the handler because the handler should take the dog out before going into a store. Um, but it doesn't mean that the dog's not a service dog if it has an accident in the store. People have accidents, people get sick, it happens. Now, if it is happening multiple times and every time you go out, that's a different story. But if it's like a one-time thing that never happens, that's just a mistake, you know? As long as you deal with it accordingly, it's okay. So all of these examples that I just gave to me are perfect examples that service dogs are not perfect. They are not robots. Now, when I see a service dog that is clawing at the ground, pulling super hard on the leash, jumping on people, jumping on counters, sniffing everything it walks by, obviously overstimulated, overexcited, Obviously, it has never been in that situation before, so it's acting crazy. Um, the dog is barking nonstop. The dog is lunging at other dogs nonstop, growling, whining constantly, having accidents every single time it goes out into a store. And somebody says that this dog is their service dog and it's having an off day and they're not perfect. Those, to me, are excuses for a dog's misbehavior. I do think that people put a lot of pressure on their dogs and on other teams that the dogs need to be absolutely perfect at all times. And that is not right, but to an extent there are expectations that all service dogs need to meet. Now, as a service dog community, I think that it is important that we not judge other teams. Um, we shouldn't expect other teams to fit this perfect picture that is impossible to achieve. Every single team has their own strengths and weaknesses, like I said. Every handler has their own expectations for their dogs. Some handlers may have higher expectations than other handlers, and that is perfectly fine as long as the dog is a service dog under the ADA and fits the expectations that service dogs need to meet. So we shouldn't judge other dogs because we don't know the whole story as to why this dog is acting the way it is. Maybe this dog has been attacked by a fake service dog and now it's nervous around other dogs and the handler is trying to desensitize it to other dogs again. Maybe the handler had recently just gotten this dog from a program and they're still learning how to work with this dog or maybe the program didn't train the dog to meet the expectations that service dogs need to meet. There are some programs who do scam people. Um, Chronically Jackie, her YouTube channel, she has a great story time video of the time she got her first service dog and it was a complete and total mess. They scammed her. It happens. So just try not to judge people 
for the first time you don't know the whole story behind the situation we've all been in the situation where our dogs make a mistake and it embarrasses us in front of everyone it's happened to everyone you can't get a dog and expect them to be perfect even through their training days um, these mistakes and embarrassing moments do happen a lot um, very often during training days so just be gentle with people you don't know if they're still training their dog or not um, so yeah just try not to judge people um, if there is a dog that is being a complete nuisance just avoid them um, could it be a fake service dog? yes possibly but just avoid them don't go up to them and videotape them if you feel more comfortable pulling your camera out just in case something does happen and you would like to have it on video feel free to do that but don't follow them around and videotape them because you wouldn't want somebody doing that to you if your dog made a mistake that being said it is also important for people to recognize when a service dog just makes a mistake and is not a robot and when a service dog needs to do a lot more training or shouldn't be a service dog at all and that is all i have for today's video um i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope y'all found it interesting thank you so much for watching bye